Hey guys, welcome back to Real Videos. My name is Tom, and this is Subnautica Below Zero. Yes, we are back. Right, guys. In the last episode, we did get the base moved up to above the surface. Just for the, for the shits and giggles of it. No reasons, you know. It's just the fact that this way... Oh, look at a beautiful little sea truck down there. This way, we can basically build the structure out here with no limitations in relation to the, the you know how far we go out. So we can build a beast of a base, as they say. My solar panels right there. Right, yes. Yeah, so we have an objective today, and the objective today is to basically expand out a bit more. Oh, let me get a bit of food here. Oh, it's not quite coiled yet. Alright, so anyway, as I was saying, so we need to get some glass, and then in order to get glass, we need crystal. That's one thing we need to do. Empty. Alright, no crystal in there. I'm gonna put those pictures up as well. Okay, no. Copper in there. So as you can see, I'm getting stuff sorted out. Okay. Cool. Right. So let's uh, go get some crystal. So that's the first thing we want to do, is get some crystal, make some windows. Get that. Alright. Get some fish. Get some of them. That's always quite good. I like that. Okay. Some more oxygen. Crystals, little punk. Little punk. Right, 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 right. What to do? We got a bit of crystal. Yeah, for us, two windows. Okay. 
Bravo. Oh, is that? Right, we had a bit of a technical issue there, but we are back. We are back. Alright. I'm only getting these for the sake of here. I'm not. I've already got this, but. It will give me some. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Alright. Okay, we changed mind. Good job, mate. Change mind. We will change our minds. Okay. We are going. Right. Welcome aboard, Captain. Ooh. Gift from the sea monkey, eh? Check that out two seconds. Alright. One. Two. Oh, three. Cool. Alright. Copper. Okay. All right, we can mark that out. L E A D. Lead. Okay. Right, so that's lead. Let's let's get some. Okay. All right, that's a good. One. Okay, now we're starting to get a bit of a... Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Boop. All right. We've got that done. We've got that done. Let's see what that log was, shall we? All right, just have a look. 
here. Delivery status report. Ah, jeez. These sea monkeys are gonna get me in trouble. This is the third shipment that those buggers have gotten their weird little hands into. Now we're running low on flares, and I'm gonna have to search nearby nests for stolen cargo. They're lucky they're kinda cute. Raccoons of the sea, those ones. Okay, so we know sea monkeys steal stuff, but we already knew that. Fred, great to see you. Come on in. You don't mind if I record this, do you? Uh, am I in trouble? <laughs> no. You know me. Just a fanatic for details. And my memory's not what it used to be. <laughs> I know what that's like. Huh. Yes. Is that why you've been running so many personal errands for your colleagues? We asked you to limit them. Uh, so I am in trouble. That's not how I want you to look at it. Okay. Here's what I see. You're a team player. You want to get the job done. I think I have a pretty good record there. You want people to like you. Has anyone complained? Fred, the trouble is, not everyone is as reliable as you are. Sometimes people need help being where they need to be and concentrating on their work. Okay. All the trips were work-related. It appears you transported tech for Lil, rather far out from her base. Lil needed to go deep, and she needed a sea truck. Her work is currently on surface installations. She shouldn't be anywhere near the water. I, uh, well, I... No more favors to friends, agreed? Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, I keep telling you. Call me Manu. <laughs> okay. Right, that's not anything there. Emmanuel de Georgian. Yeah, he sounds like a bit of a douche, to be honest. Not a big fan of this one. Alright. So up here. So down here. Maps. Hello. What do we have here? Interesting. Okay. All right, let's see what we're here. Four five four six B to Robin. Come in, Robin. <laughs> Remember when we used to play old timey space explorer? Okay. This is kind of like that. Yeah, but it it's is. even harder to communicate. <laughs> well, let's see. I got your last message. Altera is not, as you put it, all terrorizing me. Things are going well. My project has a new name. Say goodbye to the mechanical avian amphibian, and hello to spy penglings. We're training the bots to mimic the creatures. Check out the photo. I will. And I think I'm kind of seeing someone. I know it's not like me to just find a date, let alone on a mostly uninhabited water planet. But actually, you know what? Forget I said anything. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's probably not even a real thing. But All right. anyway, um, I'm sorry to hear Xenoworks might be strapped in the revenue department. Yeah, wow. Well. Sounds like they still have you busy Xeno working, though. <laughs> I know there's no way to guarantee an alien intelligence startup will succeed, but you've put so much into it. I hope they find a way to keep going. I know how much it means to you, getting to work at a small place where you have control over your research. All right, I gotta go. Later, baby sis. Love you. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, another one. Hey, Robin. I'm sorry my last message was so awful. I've been under a lot of stress. All right. I'm not sure what's going on with anything. I can't really talk about it either. Oh, and I'm definitely not dating anyone on this water planet. Don't know what I was thinking there. Uh. Have I told you how cold it is here? Get this. I can't even get my wash and go dry before the wind freezes the moisturizer in my hair. Jesus. Wild, right? Well, anyway, I'm sure you're mad at me after what I said, but I, I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. I'm sorry. Aw, oh, they're nice. Hey, Robin, I really need someone to know. I'm afraid something terrible is going to happen. You were completely right about Altera, okay? Yes, I was. 
You were right. I, I was wrong. <laughs> the cat should be called Potato. I admit it. <laughs> mm, sorry. Bad attempt at a joke. I, I just... I don't know what to do. I guess I should just come out and say it at this point. I've said this much already. We found a frozen leviathan that's infected with Kara. Altera thinks they can use it for something. Weapons, experimental treatments, a whole range of things. But one end of the range is ugly, dangerous, but, but profitable, of course. What if it gets out while we're messing around with it? Or worse, what if it ends up a bioweapon in the wrong hands? I, I hope I'm overreacting, but I don't think I am. Anyway, message me back, please. I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. Huh. Wow, okay. <clears throat> Mirrors galore. I was a little nervous about dropping into an unknown area, but luckily, this biome seems to have an abundance of minerals I can use for tools and upgrades. I didn't want another situation like Byzantos 5. When Xenoworks dropped me off, there were barely any resources. I survived off the land for three months with just a knife, my lucky PDA, and some rope. I am still kind of proud of that, though. Well, look at you. Some of the wildlife down here is very grabby. If I didn't know better, I'd say they're after my supplies. Oh, that's you know who that is, don't you? The little sea monkeys. I should have guessed Altera would find a way to clip Sam's wings. Like I knew they'd do to mine once they took over Xenoworks. I tried to warn her. But she was stubborn. Like me. Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to be so different from her. Scrappier. Faster. Less... Play by the rules. But Sam didn't tolerate Altera's corporate red tape any more than I did. She just... Try to change it from the inside. I think in the end, we always wanted similar things. Huh. So what they're saying is, Altera has an ulterior motive. You know the old, in the films, in the sci-fi, they say there's no corporation. Oh, save the biological whatever, whatever. Get it back to base. Immediately. Uh. All right, well, I can't finish that. I'm going to get some drink. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay, what? Two. Three. Okay. Alright. Where was we? I had a scanner last night. In goes the battery and titanium. Now comes a scanner. Every xenobiologist's favorite tool. This planet has some fascinating flora and fauna, and I can't wait to learn about them. This will also give me access to a greater tool set. I'm assuming Altera left behind tech that I can scan for blueprints. That should make surviving and exploring out here a bit easier. Don't worry, Sam. I haven't forgotten I'm here for you. But it can't hurt to do a little research on the side, right? I know you would have done the same. I will find out what happened to you. I promise. Yeah, I think Altero, she was... Bloody Sam was getting into people's business, and Altero made her be quiet. You know what I'm saying? The sea monkeys have changed their tune. If only I could let them know what I need. Maybe they could bring me something useful next time. Huh. The sea monkeys have changed... What was that woman's problem? The one in the exosuit. Like, I need to say which woman. And what the hell is she doing on this planet? It isn't exactly a happening vacation spot. She knew the terrain well enough to make a dramatic entrance by jumping off a sheer cliff. So I guess she's been here a while. But how long has she been following me? She said to keep away from her or off her land. What in this frozen slush bog could she be protecting? Unless she's camped out somewhere. She's definitely heard of Altera, though. Did she meet Sam? Mm, that makes me wonder, you know. Makes me wonder. Oh, 
Okay. Anything here? All right. Cable car on. Brain wing, medium sized predator known for spit super cool salt water to freeze its prey from afar. Uh huh. Penguin. Penguin. The Rock Puncher. Symbiote. Okay. Sea Monkey, a medium sized intelligent herbivore, shows great interest in life forms and the possessions which need to understand the life form and their behavior. Okay. We know what these are. Okay. Just flora, survival, tech, equipment. Pathfinder tool. Okay, so we've checked the logs. We're quite comfortable with the logs. All right. It is a cold looking day out there. It's nighttime. Alright, let's go get some sleep. Alright. Okay. So we've had a bit of a sleep. Another cold day here. <coughs> excuse me guys, excuse me. Alright, so what do we need to do? We need to... Alright, uh-uh. Rebreather. Wiring mesh. Fiber mesh silicone rubber. Wiring kit. Okay, so I need a oh, wrong one, wrong one. I need a wiring kit. So what is what is a wiring kit? I can't remember. Wiring kit. It's two silver ore. I think I got two silver ore. Okay, maybe not. There's one silver. No, there is no silver. No, right, I need to get some more silver then. That's not good. Okay. Mm -mm. Get over there. Okay, so what we're going to need to do. Oh, wrong one gonna need to do is we gonna need to find silver okay so uh, let's check our food actually Ooh. 
Alright, so that's us topped up. Now we need to get some pull we need to get some silver. Um Chance of silver, okay. Alright. Alright, where are you? Come on, silver. Come on, silver, where are you? Don't seem to see any silver. Come on. No. Watch my oxygen. Come on, Silver. I was led. Okay. Okay, come on. What do you have? Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Right. See, this is a thing. Warning. Oh. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. the only silver. I need, I need two silver to make the component I needed.
Got it, got it, got it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. Right. Search aboard. Rebreather, wire kit, fiber mesh and silicon rubber. Fiber mesh and silicon rubber. Okay. Fiber mesh and silicone rubber. Hmm. Yep. There. Okay. Boom, boom. Silicon rubber. Fiber mesh. Okay. Rebreather. Nice. The rebreather re facilitates extensive free diving by recycling air more efficiently at significant depths. Breathe the freedom. Okay. See, now we're getting somewhere. Okay. So I've got the rebreather. That's going to help out a lot. I mean, a lot. Okay. Pathfinder tool, yeah. Mineral detector, yeah. I got to find that ingredient to the laser cutter, definitely. Okay. Abo, abo, abo. Okay, go down here. Boom. Okay, so. Wow. Okay. Smoke's coming in. It's getting dark. Okay. 
Right, I think, uh, yeah, I think we're pretty much done now, guys. Look at that snowstorm going on. Woo. So, time for bitty buyers. Guys, stay awesome. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye now. Right, guys, as always, I am found on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. Guys, don't forget to check me out. And, guys, if you want to see more content like this, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. See you guys later. Bye.